What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the possibility of history repeating itself with the uh, Philadelphia Flyers as after falling behind in their series against the uh, President's Trophy winning Capitals 3 0. They've won the last two games and, uh, you know, have forced game six in. Uh, in Philly, you know, behind Michael Neuver, former Capitals goalie, I'm sure that's the storyline. I'm sure you, you're not sick of hearing that at all. <clears throat> but, you know, you look at it from Philly's perspective. They're play they were playing with the house money from the start of the series, because when you think about it, the Bruins don't have, you know, another collapse for the ages. Philly's sitting on the sidelines when the, you know, they're playing golf right now. And, you know, you look at it, from, and that's not a knock on the Flyers. It's just the, the reality of the situation. And, you know, you look at it. Dropped the first three games. Game three was kind of sort of really, really embarrassing, you know, between the fans throwing shit on the ice and, you know, the uh, Bellamere cheap shot and, you know, all that shit. So that's, eh, looking at it from that perspective, it's like, oh, they're dead. And then Neuer comes in, steals two games, and it's like, oh, now the pressure's on Washington. And I said this going into game five of the uh, Blackhawks Blues series, and I was right. The pressure is on the team that can close it out. Because Philly, like I said, from the start of the series, has been playing with the house money. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. And Washington has, much like St. Louis, this history of falling short in the playoffs. And, you know, they want to exercise that demon. And, unfortunately, Philly is not making it easy for them. You know, this they thought this could have been a quick sweep, get them out of here. You know, thanks for showing up. See you next season. But, nope. Philly is going to be a thorn in their side for the, you know, game six in Philadelphia. I'll be damned if those fans aren't going rip shit and acting insane like they, and I mean that as a compliment towards Philly. Like, they are a passionate fan base, and, uh, you know, tomorrow matinee game on NBC, they're going to be fired up, and, you know, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, the atmosphere in Philly for, for that game, and can, uh, you know, can the Flyers... Rise up to the occasion of fourth game seven in Washington. You know, again, this is as a Boston Bruins fan back in 2010. You know, Philly was dead, and then Simone Gagne comes back. They, you know, make a, a goaltending change. You know, put Michael Layton in there, and then uh, you know the, the Michael Layton Brian Boucher tandem, goaltending tandem, uh, just stole that series. And you know, Neuver is better than both those guys were at that point in time. So now, is this Capitals team much better than the 2010 Bruins? Yes, this Capitals team is, you know, the varsity and the, the that Bruins team was, you know, like a, a pee wee team, comparatively speaking, talent wise. So, <clears throat> you know, we'll see how it all shakes up. But I, if I'm a Washington Capitals fan, I'm starting to get pretty freaking worried because again, pressure's on them. You know, they want to exercise this demon, and you know, see if they can do it. San Jose did it last night. But we'll see uh, how it all shakes out. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes with the season and beyond. Thank you guys.